This is Team Wayfinder interviewing David Wald, the voice of Kaito from Fibrain, Guido from Needless, the father from Sankarea, and from the new show Attack on Titan. Uh, Hannes, I, uh, I think we're supposed to be watching The Wall. It's great to have you on the show. Hey, how y'all doing? Pretty great. Well, how's the action at Team Wayfinder? <laughs> Getting some nice interviews in. Lovely. <laughs> All right, first question. Shoot, go ahead. So, how did you get into voice acting? Well, uh, it, it was something I always wanted to do. I think probably from about the, you know, I was four or five years old and heard Mel Blanc for the first time and thought, yeah, that's, uh, that's the gig for me. Um, and then by the time I started, you know, seriously getting into, you know, pursuing the avenue of performance, I was in uh, the Midwest. I was in Indianapolis at the time. And uh, there wasn't a whole lot of voiceover opportunity then in, in those years. This would have been the like uh, late 80s, early 90s. So there wasn't a lot going on in Indianapolis then. And, uh, you know, so I was doing a lot of theater and whatnot and uh, playing in bands and, you know, that whole thing. And then uh, moved back down to Houston, where I grew up about 10 years ago. And uh, there's just this tremendous uh, wealth of uh, voice acting opportunity down here. So I was actually very fortunate uh, to get signed with uh, an agency down here, Pastorini Bosby. And uh, they had me out on commercial voiceover auditions pretty quickly and I you know I booked a few of them I got lucky but it was really uh, John Swayze who started me in anime he uh, had come and seen me uh, this is when he was directing for ADV he had come and seen me in a play I was doing here in town because he had a friend in the play and uh, from there he cast me I think the first thing was I was probably like you know something like uh, Soldier 21C in in an episode of Shadow Skill somewhere um, and that's where it all began. What's been some of your favorite roles to voice? Oh, well, my favorite one so far, I'm actually not allowed to tell you yet, but it will come. Um, you know, Master Chief was a lot of fun. It was pretty wild to uh, <laughs> to play Master Chief. I never thought that might happen. Um Duke Togo was a big favorite of mine because I was, uh, you know, I was not a huge consumer of of anime, you know, before I started working in it. But there was definitely some I had seen. And one of those things was uh, the film, the Galgo 13, The Professional. Mm -hmm. And I just loved the character. I thought he was, you know, so cool. And, and, and uh, I, you know, I had no idea I'd ever end up playing the part but that was kind of a strange you know circuitous <laughs> path <laughs> back to the duke uh so duke togo is a favorite kaito i love doing um in Fibrain, and uh yeah i really enjoyed uh kiwichi too in in tokyo majin i guess i i, I have an affinity for those you know smart ass teenagers <laughs> <laughs> a role of yours i didn't actually mention gajil how is it voicing for him Oh, it's uh, it's great, man. I mean, it's it's ridiculous fun, and he's you know the red fox. He's like he's a total nut bar. So uh, you know, it's nothing but fun in there. And you know, Fairy Tale is such a uh, it's such a high energy show anyway. So it can be challenging, you know, once you've uh, once you've uh, recorded your third Iron Dragon roar in a session. <laughs> It can start to get a little. Uh, it can start to get a little hairy, but uh, you know, a couple of halls and some water, and you know, you're good to go. Gotcha. Who are some <laughs> of your good friends in the voiceover industry? Oh man, you know, uh, it's uh, you know, it's a pretty small community around here in the South. You know, Houston and Dallas, where I work primarily. So, uh, um, you know, it's kind of a it's kind of a big family. I mean, uh, those Ayers boys are two of my favorite human beings, Chris and, uh, Greg, um, uh, uh, John Swayze, of course, who is my, you know, he was my anime voice. Obi-Wan really continues to be honestly. Um, Josh Greeley, you know, we met at, uh, Iowa con or at anime Iowa last year and, uh, we hit it off real well. He's very cool cat. Um, you know, and all these Houston folk, man. I mean, you know, Andrew and Emily Love, Emily Nev's Love, and, uh, uh, you know, Kyle Jones. And I mean, it's, you know, we all know each other. We all, it's, it's a pretty tight community. That was the longest possible answer to your question, wasn't it? <laughs> so how is it recording for Attack on Titan with all the crazy stuff going on there? 
Oh, it was wild. I mean, you know, uh, Hannes really isn't in, you know, too terribly much of it. So uh, my recording session for Titan was uh, pretty short. Um, and, you know, you go into the studio and you're really only able to watch. I mean, it, you know, it's not like we sit back and watch the whole episode before we record it, right? So uh, so I didn't even, I like, I, I mean, I barely had a handle on what was going on in Attack on Titan, except for a little reading, you know, when I, uh, when I knew I was doing it. Um, uh, so, I mean, that's a crazy show. And, you know, recording it in the studio, seeing it on that tiny video monitor in the studio, I didn't realize what a gorgeous show it is. I mean, seeing it now on Adult Swim, it's like, I, I, I mean, it's just, it's a beautiful show. It's so well rendered. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm discovering it as a new thing, you know, pretty much along with the rest of the viewing public who didn't watch it in uh, Japanese. I've been seeing a couple of promos for Psychopaths. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh, Psychopaths is gorgeous. It's this, it's just an incredible show, and it you know it borrows liberally and proudly from titles like uh, Blade Runner, and um, so it's very much in that very dark, gritty you know uh, future uh, sort of society, and it's uh, you know it deals with some real. There's some real morally ambiguous territory in there, you know, that's, uh, it's real fun to dance on those lines, you know. So Psychopaths is an incredible show. I hope, uh, I hope people enjoy it, enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed recording it. It was just fun. <laughs> Do you have any tips or tricks for upcoming voice actors? Oh, you know, I mean, it's, it's probably just about the same as, as you've heard from anybody, you know, I mean, the, the, the trick is to act, you know, they don't, they don't really care when they're casting, they're not out there looking for character voices, you know what I mean? They're not necessarily. I mean, that certainly does enter into the picture. Um, but initially what they're looking for is actors. So the best and first advice I'd give anybody who wants to get into, into voice acting, particularly voice acting for, for anime or for animated work is just act as much as you can, you know, find theater in your town. Uh, uh, you know, uh, students can do, uh, can do theater in schools, you know, and then you've got folks who are theater majors and, and, you know, communications majors, radio television majors who are, who are getting exposed to, to it on a regular basis and, you know, always sort of have an avenue to, uh, experiment in performance. But for those who are, you know, not students of, of theater or performance, uh, the best advice I can give is to train and to act. First and foremost, act. Find a theater. Uh, you know, find someone in your town making a, an independent film, looking for actors. You know, they're all over. Act, 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 act. That's what they want. They want actors. They want actors really before voices. Do you stay pretty busy with commercial work? Um, you know, it comes in waves. I mean, uh, I'm in Houston here, so it's it's not like L.A. or New York. It's not like there's this never endless chain of 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 demand. But it's um, good lord, everybody wants me today. Um. But uh, it's, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, as I say, it sort of comes in waves. There are times where, you know, I'll have a month where I'll book a bunch of things all at once and, you know, then another month where nothing much is happening. And commercial voiceover, anime tends to be uh, a, little, a little steadier. I've had the good fortune for, uh, you know, for, for anime to become a little bit more steady, steady than uh, commercial VO. Do you have any funny stories from the booth? <laughs> I don't know. Is this a family friendly show? No. The, uh, the, uh, yeah, you know, there's always, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm not real good at theater stories, but, uh, uh, you know, this is what I call, you know, uh, storytelling from the booth. The booth is, is largely not a terribly exciting place to be. You know, it's just you in that little room and, and you got a director and an engineer on the other side of it. Um, so there's not a lot of room for craziness to happen. But when the craziness does happen, it's usually in uh, bombs from other actors, leaving little bombs in the dialogue to uh, throw you off, <laughs> changing up a line to give it a, uh, you know, give it some uh, sexual connotation or some sort of, uh, you know. <laughs> how, does, how does that work? Well, you know, you'll be recording and you'll have a line and, uh, you know, the line is, uh, say the line is something like, uh, you know, we need to get to the compound. Uh, and someone instead will, will, will be like, uh, you know, we need to get to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> 
you know, that's a very PG version of what I'm talking about. But like, you know, stuff like that, stuff like you'll be recording and you have the, the English actors who've already recorded in your headphones. So you'll just be going along, doing your business and watching the monitor and listening to the voices and getting ready for your character to do the next line. And then someone says something totally ridiculous and <laughs> they have to stop, uh, they have to stop recording for a minute while you finish laughing. <laughs> <laughs> any part, any final thoughts? No, man. I, I, I mean, I just want to thank people for their love of this medium. I mean, uh, uh, anime is it's uh, recording anime is one of my favorite jobs in the world, and uh, I don't ever want to not be doing it. And it wouldn't be possible without people enjoying it and responding to it and buying it. Um, so I just want to thank the fans of these shows, man. It's all about you guys. All right. Well, it's been great having you on the show. Well, I thank you, sir.